In the morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ, how are you today? Welcome to St. Mark Bemidji's podcast, the podcast that probably won't rake up your leaves and mow the lawn, but proudly proclaims the promises of God four times a week. If you like what you're listening to right now, you can subscribe to it on your phone or computer and listen to us all the time. If you're watching on YouTube, you could also click the little bell and be notified the moment a new podcast is published. There's a good chance you're watching or listening to this on YouTube right now. There are share links right there in the app, right below the video window. You can share this content with a friend or that random person you like to bug in the checkout line and talk about what you heard today. Ask your pastor about it. If you don't have a pastor, go out and find one. I hear they like to talk about God. But both the podcast and YouTube have a share link at the very top of the show notes if you'd rather just give that link to a friend. Let me know if you can't find it at john.kirk at stmarksbemidji.org. Today, we look at a good question. Why? From the perspective of the prophet Jeremiah, it comes to us courtesy of Meditation's Daily Devotions. Why is my pain unending? Why is my wound incurable, refusing to heal? Will you be as deceptive as an intermittent stream to me, like a source of water that a person can't depend on? Jeremiah 15, verse 18. Why? Children ask that question all the time, but they're not the only ones. We all ask that question as we try to better understand the world around us. Jeremiah asked that question because things didn't seem right to him. He had been called by God to be a prophet. He proclaimed God's word to the people of Judah. He did his job, but he was suffering for it. He was being opposed and persecuted. The people rejected him, ridiculed him, and questioned whether anything he said was true. He wondered if God would ever carry out his threats against their sins. It was painful for Jeremiah to go through this. It seemed as if his life would never get any better. He felt like a wound that would never heal. There was no escape. God had commissioned him to speak, even if the people didn't respond. Jeremiah reasoned God would fill his heart with joy. But God seemed like an intermittent stream. Jeremiah yearned to dip his cup into the blessings of doing the Lord's work. But when he approached the stream that he was depending on for refreshment in this desert of a life, he found that the stream had dried up. Why? he asked. Maybe you have asked similar questions. Why did my loved ones turn on me and give up their faith? Why did my friends reject the message of hope I tried to give to them? Why did the joy of my salvation lead to a bitter attitude? When we can't find the answers, We may begin to wonder, like Jeremiah did, if God is unreliable, unable, or unwilling to refresh the spirits of those who serve Him. Jeremiah's question does not get answered in this verse, but it does have an answer. God sent His Son to take away sin. His promise of heaven assures us that whatever pain and suffering we must deal with here will be completely overshadowed by our joy there. The question we really ought to ask is, why does God do so much for me? That question overshadows the whys generated by the suffering we endure for God's sake. It keeps us rooted in God's grace in Christ. We pray, Dear Lord, when I suffer as a Christian, I am often tempted to ask why. Help me instead to focus on your love, a love that goes beyond understanding. Amen. We hope that today's meditation on God's Word has enriched you. Divine services are held right here in Bemidji, Minnesota at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday school and adult Bible study is also offered between our Sunday services at 9.15 a.m. Our church services are live-streamed at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings and are available afterwards on our channel, St. Mark Lutheran Church Bemidji. If you're listening or watching this podcast, you are cordially invited to join us in person next week and every week. 
This is our fourth year producing this podcast, and there is a large archive of devotional material online available if you want to learn more about God and His Word. Visit www.stmarkbemidji.org or look in the show notes in this podcast for a link to this and many other meditations on God. You can also search for St. Mark Bemidji on YouTube to find our channel. If you have any questions or you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website, which is once again, www.stmarkbemidji.org. All scripture readings are taken from the Holy Bible, New International Version, copyright 2011, and are used by permission from Zondervan. Meditation's daily devotional is published by Northwestern Publishing House and is also used by permission. If you enjoy this podcast, please consider subscribing and telling a friend. May God bless the rest of your day. Hey there, parents. Are you on the lookout for a fantastic school in the Bemidji area that embraces Christian values? Well, look no further. Introducing St. Mark's Christian Day School, where education meets faith in an extraordinary way. At St. Mark's, we get it. We understand that your child's education should be rooted in God, compassion, and unwavering faith. Our experienced team of dedicated educators are here to provide a top-notch education to students in grades K through 8 that nourishes the mind, heart, and soul. With small class sizes and a personalized approach, we create a safe and dynamic environment where your child can explore the God-given talents and excel academically. Our teachers integrate biblical principles throughout the day, ensuring your child grows into a compassionate and morally grounded individual. Our students are also able to participate in extracurricular activities with the Bemidji School District. For more information about St. Mark's Day School, call John at 218-444-3939 or at principal at stmarksbemidji.org.